You rest so peacefully, my love. Goodness, I could watch you forever. The way the muscles in your face relax. It's like all the worries of the world have left you. And in a way they have. You dream so deeply tonight. Are you having an adventure? I look at you and wonder, what world has your mind created for you this evening? I can only hope that it's worthy of you. All right, what did you think of that? Is it a good opening paragraph? I should have her describe who she's looking at. Hmm. I don't want her to sound creepy. Well, she's already watching this person while they sleep. You don't think it's too much? I mean, she's clearly obsessed. Hmm. You make a good point, as usual. She could comment something more subtle, like the line of their jaw, well, the shape, or how their eyelashes rest against their cheek. I did that already. When? Book seven. Oh, I can't help myself. Eyelashes are beautiful. Little spider webs that keep our eyes clear and free of dust. Did you see the girls in the last town we passed through? They rubbed coal dust on their eyelashes so they looked darker and fuller. It's so novel. Fashion is always changing. What do you mean, get back to writing? How dare you? I wrote a great deal while you were sleeping. H how, how much did I write? Pages, pages upon pages, my darling muse. You wouldn't check. Ah, uh, wait. I wasn't scribbling. That's a design. I don't know what the casket in Act 3 is going to look like. I want to be descriptive. By the way, I need your modern opinion. What is a better incense for this scene? Sage and citrus or lavender and basil? I want something that sounds like it would make a balanced scent. Ah, oh, I see. Just don't use the word balanced to describe it. <laughs> Maybe I should use your scent. What is that? I am not procrastinating. Who are you, my publisher? I will not stand for this slander in my own carriage. Well, you have only just woken. Surely it would be impolite to ignore you. I need to ask how you slept, offer you some tea... You're not fooled by my offer? Oh, you're so clever. Not to worry, my muse. I'll have lots to write about after we arrive. <sighs> I need to refill my artistic well. Desperately.
Yes, that's why I have you. But you are my muse. I need the world to feed me as well. We both know there is only so much you can draw from a human. Hmm. Thank you for coming with me, by the way. We can stop wherever you'd like on the way home. Of course. You've really helped me. Oh, that reminds me. Before we arrive, can you help me name this character? Thank you. And so we have arrived. Mmm. That night air smells incredible. Yes, and so do you, naturally. Yes, it is very dark. But look, there's a full moon. Don't forget to tap your coin purse. What? Is that no longer the custom? It's supposed to bring you wealth and luck. You tap silver jewelry as well. <laughs> but you don't need luck, do you? Don't think I can't see the moon reflected in the shine of your shoes. Your new fortune suits you very well. Mmm. And I noticed how you styled your hair today. Very becoming. You look so different from the day I met you. No, not different. Improved. Happier. Lighter. It's a fond memory. I can't help but revisit it. Especially in a graveyard under the moonlight. Ah, oh, I practically stole you from that guild. <laughs> but I had the better offer. I did, didn't I? Come, I want to wander and look at the tombstones with you. There are rumors of a treasure hidden here, and that's exactly what I need for the second act. Will you help me harness my inspiration? Excellent. So, since you were so invested in the scene where she watches them sleep, help me. What is a more romantic token to leave on the bed for them to find when they wake? Either a poetry book, and then I would get to write a poem, or a single pearl tied around a single gold chain. Ah, you think the pearl would be lost in the bedsheets? Those things don't happen in books. It's all fiction and... Oh, what are you pointing at? Oh, 
the mausoleum. Quite beautiful. Is it just our perspective from the hillside, or is it very small? Ah, <sighs> look at all the weathered gravestones facing it and the pathways that wander to its door. The heart of the cemetery, for sure. Yes, I think you're right. My characters would go inside. Shall we? Oh, we shall. Why don't we hold hands? since it is very dark outside. Perfect. Watch your step. Hmm? You want to stop at the last town on our way back? You mean the one where that tailor fawned all over you? Oh, she most certainly did. She hung off your shoulders while taking your measurements. It was very unprofessional. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Come, will you open the door to the mausoleum and invite me inside? 